Hello, uh, this is a uh, just a quick video really. Um, I know I've recently been doing um, two new series on um, 2D platformers and third person shooters and they are um, always premiering, I apologise like that, I like to keep it week on week and um, I'm sort of doing them ahead of time as well. Just like any YouTuber, I think you to, or YouTube tutorial person, you need to kind of keep ahead. Um, but this is going to be very um, spontaneous of me, and I'm going to obviously upload this straight away for you guys to enjoy. So what we're going to do in this session is quickly two things: is cr um, show you how to create a skybox from scratch from using um, a high HDRI image from the internet and um, as well as creating that as a skybox within Unity and using that to also rotate um, around in your world space. Um, the, it's probably not perfect for this project I'm using, this is just a, two point, um, a demo 2.5D game um, I've been kind of um, using and creating. It probably look pretty naff on here but on a third person or a first person game um, if you get the right skybox um, the slow kind of rotate of the sky and um, can be a really really nice um, piece of aesthetic design for your game anyway okay so um, I use a particular website and this website is um, hdrihaven.com you can use this for any kind of um, images or anything like that um, for high resolution images more than anything so what I'm going to do here is I was going to use this image, but I think I'm going to change my mind and go for the small cave. Um, this is quite nice. So what I'm going to do is use a 2K image. I'm just going to download this into my downloads. Um, that's all good. So um, small cave, 2K, save. Cool. Lovely. Um, into Unity, let's go straight to downloads and there we go, small cave and drag that in. Cool, okay, so this at the moment is just seen as a 2D texture and not um, a panoramic image, even though it is a panoramic image, we need to tell Unity that it is. And um, what how we do that is by creating a material. So, what we're going to do is right click, go to create, and go to material. I'm just going to, just for the purpose of this, I'm just going to name this um, probably just cave underscore skybox. There we go. And then um, usually use this to create materials, but we're going to create a skybox out of this. So from shader, we're going to click on standard, go down to skybox, click on that, and go to panoramic. Obviously, we're using panoramic because that's what our image is it's a panoramic HDRI shot. So once we click onto that, we get taken into uh, this kind of sub menu where um, we've got our exposure, our rotation, and our spherical image itself, or our HDR. What we're gonna do is select, and we should be able to find, there we go, our small cave image. Click out of that. And that is essentially it. That is how you create your own custom uh, skybox through um, using panoramic images uh, from just the internet. So what we're going to do is you can quickly um, click and drag this into um, doesn't look too bad actually uh, into your game. And as you can see here, we have our exposure and rotation. So I'm going to uh, do the rotation like we've just. Oh man, that looks a bit odd. So I'm going to put it over here so it looks a bit darker and darken our cave there we go that's not not looking too bad at all actually I thought that could look way worse um, okay so what we're going to do is now rotate slowly very very slowly this um, or quickly tile up to you um, this skybox so I'm going to go into my scripts and right click create new C shops C sharp script and call this rotate skybox. Enter that and right click. There, where are we? No, we're on our main menu. Let's go back into Unity. 
rotate sky box let's try that again there we go awesome so this is really really quick to do and very very easy so we're going to create a variable so i'm just going to go public float and call this speed because that is essentially what it is um we can add that later um into in our inspector because it's a public in the float that's fine in update we are going to look for render settings there it is dot skybox dot set float and then we're going to do bracket underscore rotation to find those render settings for that comma uh, time dot time so it's not going to be uh, rushing into next week and we're going to times that by our speed and that is it so if we save that this should work okay so let's just make sure we don't have any issues from unity no that seems okay so what we're going to do is create an empty in our hierarchy and again I'm just going to call this rotate underscore skybox lovely and add a component and it's going to be that rotate skybox script speed let's put 0.5 enter so it's 0 0.5 and press play and see what happens fantastic there we go so slowly you can see as we kind of move on and play our game our uh, speed or our rotation of our skybox is rotating around obviously we can change this we can go to this variable and speed this up as you can see but in a first person or third person game I think this would look pretty cool obviously maybe not the speed it might be a bit trippy obviously if you did this in a VR game um, you're probably going to have people chucking up um, but you can kind of see where I'm going here if you use this for an FPS or a third person shooter game a really nice slow rotating um, skybox can make your game a load more realistic cool well I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you soon